The edit menu in the main menu bar contains the following commands. At the very top, we have undo and redo, two very common features that you'll find in many different applications. For example, if I select this static mesh, I can go to edit and choose undo, and now it's no longer selected. If I come down, I can choose redo, and of course it is reselected. A quick uh, note, a word to the wise, if you will, the undo command will not always pick up every operation you've done. For example, if I select this static mesh and use the translation widget to move it up into the air, if I then go to edit and choose undo, notice the undo command says clicking on actors. It says nothing of moving the object, and indeed if I select undo, we unselect the object, but the motion, the actual movement that I performed, is completely ignored. So I would have to actually move this back into place. So just something I wanted you to be aware of. Now, that's a quick look at undo and redo, which I'm sure you've seen uh, fairly often in other applications. Undo is also attached to Control-Z. So if you uh, find yourself needing that, just reach over and tap Control-Z. And you have the uh, also can hit Control-Y for redo. So I can hit Control-Z for undo, Control-Y for redo. So moving down from here, we have Show Widget. I'm going to go ahead and select this static mesh, and you can see the widget here. This is my translation widget, which allows me to move objects around, as you've already seen. If I switch off Show Widget, we no longer see the widget anymore, though don't let this uh, make you think that you can't move the object anymore. You can still move things around in your map using the uh, methods that were, that were presented in older versions of Unreal Ed prior to Unreal Engine 3, and that is if you hold down the Control key and drag with the left mouse button, as you move the mouse forward and back, you are sliding the object in the x-axis. If you hold down control and drag uh, forward and back with the right mouse button, you are moving in the y-axis. And if you hold control and drag with the left and right mouse buttons together, you're actually moving this object in the uh, up and down z-axis. So you can still move objects around if you want to. Now, I just think it's a whole lot easier to have that widget showing, so let me go ahead and bring that back. Now, speaking of the widget, we can control the type of widget we see. By default, we see the translation widget, which again allows for motion. If we come down, we can uh, choose the rotation widget, allowing us to rotate the object around. So I'll draw it up a little bit like a drawbridge there. We can also use the scale widget. So we can scale this up or scale it down. I'll scale it down and make it kind of small. It looks kind of like a cool bike ramp, though. I'd probably just go head first into the, the sludge pit. All right, moving down from here, we have the search uh, option. And what this will do is bring up the search for actors window, which I'm going to demonstrate in a separate video, so we won't worry about that right here. Let me go ahead and close this. And because it makes me feel better, I'm going to switch this back over to the translation widget. Underneath search, we have cut, copy, paste, and duplicate. Now, the first three of these you've probably seen in several other applications, such as word processors even, and they work exactly the same way. For example, if I click on cut, you'll notice the static mesh disappears. If I go back down to paste, it appears again. If I hit copy and then paste, I get another copy of it, it's, although it's in the same location, so we've got to actually move it to separate the two. Or I can come down to duplicate, and I get a second copy that is slightly offset. Now, a couple of quick things about that. There are some hotkeys to make this happen. Let me go ahead and delete out these extra copies I have made. So I'm going to tap the delete key here. And uh, let's delete out this guy as well. For cut, just like you might imagine or you might already know, Control-C will do a... Uh, I'm sorry, not for, for cut, excuse me. For copying, we can use Control-C. For cutting, we can use Control-X. So you'll notice the object disappear. For paste, we have control V. And if we'd like to duplicate, we can actually hit control W. And notice when you duplicate, it's like doing a copy paste, but you also get a slight offset from the object so that uh, you can see you do indeed have a separate copy being created. So let's go ahead and delete that out. Now, moving down from here, we have the delete function. It's pretty self-explanatory, but what I'm going to do is make a duplicate of this with Control-W, and I'll slide this new duplicate up into the air, and you can go under Edit and choose Delete to make that go away. It just kills it outright, though admittedly, I never actually come up into the menu and do that. I just tap the Delete key on my keyboard because that's a whole lot faster. Now, underneath this, we have four different selection commands. We have Select None, which will remove any selections that you have in the view. We have Select All, which will select everything in your level, should you need to do that for some reason. We have invert selections, so if I select maybe this one static mesh and then choose invert selections, I get everything but that static mesh selected. Let's go ahead and select none to make that go away. And I can also select by property, which you can see here. Now this actually requires a little bit of a workflow. What I'm going to do is select this light, and I'll double click on it to open up its properties window. 
Now you can also, if you don't want to double click on it, you can press the F4 key, or under the view menu you'll find the actor properties window, whichever way you want to bring it up. So I'm going to select the brightness property, and while it's selected, I'm going to hold down shift and left click on it. Now it doesn't necessarily have to be selected, I'm just clicking on it to highlight it so you can see what I'm uh, selecting here, but hold down shift and left click. And you'll notice if you look really close on your computer, you just might see a little tiny hourglass pop up when you shift left click. As soon as you've done that, go to edit and choose select by property, and you're going to select every other actor in your level that shares that same property. So all of these other lights have a brightness value of uh, 0.5. So if I select this light, notice his brightness is 0.5. This light was also selected, so if I select it, it was also 0.5. It's just a way to grab everybody who shares a similar property so that you can change everybody at once. And with that, that is all of the commands of the edit menu.